Hey everyone, welcome to day 18. For this spread, we're doing a Cabana inspired botanical illustration. For day 17, which was yesterday, we have done these kind of cute little flowers with some smaller ornamental flowers and a little bit of green. Today, I want to focus a little bit more on the color palette, which I didn't do here. So, I really fancy this color palette with the turquoises and slightly muted and pastel pinks. So I think that's the color palette where I will be heading. I have already prepared the swatches right here and I have used the palette swatches stamp set and I've used this element right here. Today I'm going to use some elements from the botanical stamp set and I think I might as well use a few things from the summer florals. All of these stamp sets are available on my website alonacreates.com. So I'm going to ink up this petal right here which is the largest out of the four. We're going to wipe off the pointy bit because we want to create one flower out of it rather than using it as a petal. And this time I'm actually going to go slightly lower within the illustration so that we have enough length up here. And I'm going to do the same as I did before, which is creating a line. This time I'm gonna go for both lines. So I'm just gonna create a line here and a smaller one kind of cascading towards here. I might actually just elongate it ever so slightly. And this time I am going to use some of the leaves, which are individual leaves, which you can turn into flowers, you can turn into foliage, you can do so many different things. So let's see, I'm gonna just randomly select a few. So I'm gonna go for this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So there are six all together. So this one is quite big. And I'm going to place it around here. And I'm also going to rotate it upside down and pop it somewhere here, slightly off, not very close to the black line. Then I'm going to go into this element and I'm going to add it around here. Again, not too close to the line. And I'm gonna go into the smaller element and add a few of these around here. And then I'm going to go into the smallest one and add this one around here. Let's see, this largest one I haven't used yet. Just around here. Just sprinkling them around and then we're going to connect them together. So that's the leaves and that's the flower. We may want to add a few berries or a few other elements, but when I'm not too sure, I tend to stop at this point, line everything out and get a better idea of what needs to be added. Let's start with the flower. And now let's connect these leaves. So far, so good. But I do need a little bit more here. So I think I'm going to add the center, which is this part here. I'm going to add some berries and I'm thinking I'm going to add it over the leaves and fill it with black so it will be absolutely fine. I'm just looking for the best placement here. And then I'm going to need something over here. First of all, let's line out these berries as well. And now we're going to fill them in. So you can see now we have layering over of the different lines, but that's not a problem. Once you fill in the color, you will see that the berries will be in the foreground 
and then the leaves will appear to be in the background which I think looks really pretty. Now let's add the toppers to finish these two ends and I'm going to use this dainty little flower and I'm going to rotate it upwards slightly and here I'm going to go kind of tilt it to the side like that. Once we line out those two, we'll have a better idea what to do with a couple of places that I am not sure about. So I think here I need to add something more, but let's just line out these flowers first. We're going to connect them gently to the existing end of the line and then just add the petals. And here, same thing. Let's use this leaf part right on the corner there. So I'm not going to stamp it with the end part, wipe that off. And I'm just going to add it here, like so, and then I'll figure a way to connect it. This time erasing this baby leaf and tilting it down. So that we're almost kind of closing in and getting this oval shape. Now let's line out these leaves and I'm going to just connect it. And I'm quite happy with this composition. So I'm going to add these black marks. Again, this stamp element can be stamped in black ink and you're done with it but i'm just going to sprinkle around this black throughout the illustration just to keep it nice and crisp and having contrast i have decided to add a little leaf just here because both of these leaves are the same and they're kind of going the same direction and they're fairly close together so i do need to bring in another element just to distract from that that's already looking quite good. I might add another one up here. Let's actually go another one. I mean, it's starting to become a little bit too full now. Let's go into that color palette. So I'm gonna start with the Cascade Green at the bottom. Maintaining the highlight. It's a gorgeous color and especially if your leaves are bigger it will shine through quite a bit more you'll see the color more on smaller leaves it doesn't show up as much so these leaves are perfect for that also I'm going to dot in a little bit of water to get that granulation going I'm also going to bring the same color up in here somewhere. Just in a few places. And then let's go in with the pink for the flower. And just bring it a bit more into the corners and the edge okay then we're going to go into viridian which is another great turquoise i think i'm going to bring a little bit of yellow into this like a mustard yellow So the final color that is left really is the uh, the flowers. I'm just going to add a bit more water here for a beautiful effect. 
I kind of want something like light pink but I don't think I have anything in my palette so I'm going to use Tombow 772 which I think is their blush color it's a really lovely pale color and I actually used it in that illustration I think right here on the same flowers actually so I'm gonna use a small brush Now I'm going to go back in just at the very tip and just add a bit more saturation and again with the brush this time just very little water and not pulling it through the entire petal just a little just blending So that there is no hard edge but we're still maintaining that color there as far as the color palette goes it's very organized and works a lot better for me than here for example i like the illustration when i look at it but when i just look at the color palette it's just all over the place whereas here it's more harmonious so let me give you a close-up So that's our day 18 done. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the cabana inspired floral clusters and I will see you for day 19.